Hi guys, welcome back to Inspirational Wednesdays. This is At Home with Sister Mika. And today we're going to be talking about mom burnout. How to avoid mom burnout. Because it is real. Uh, you know, those with multiple children, especially if you a stay-at-home mom or homeschool mom, you know, being with the kids all day, uh, it can be tiresome. <laughs> And so I'm just going to share a few tips that has blessed me, and I pray it blesses you. Here we go. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is At Home with Sister Mika. I am a wife of 16 years, and I am a homeschool mother to five children, and this is us. For more modesty videos and videos on home life and inspirational Wednesdays, please subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, so the first tip, when you wake up in the morning, before you do anything, you need to pray. Pray, ask the Lord to order your steps, to guide your day, and to bless it. To be a part of your day so it can be a good day. Number two is get a devotional. A good sound doctrinal devotional that will encourage you and help you throughout your day. All right. And while you are cleaning that house, cooking that good meal for the kids. And while you are homeschooling the children, talk to God. He is with us. He is there. Talk to him throughout your day. Next tip is to get out if you can. Try to go get a, a, a ice cream or, or a bite to eat, but get out. Next, make sure you have some spiritual friends that you can call on and talk to and confide in. Lastly, find your prayer partner. A prayer partner that's not going to share uh, your business with anyone, but that's going to encourage you and pray with you. Someone you can relate to. Okay, guys, so those are the tips that bless me. Um, I had found myself waking up in the morning because I would hear the baby, and I would soon get up, go get him, change his diaper, see about him. And then my my um, other little one, she would get up, and I had to see about her. She's, she's hungry. I had to take her downstairs and, you know, get, uh, get feed her. Uh, then the other ones wake, my older kids wake up and they come downstairs and the day just gets started like that. You know, and I'm doing, by myself doing breakfast, uh, having devotion with them, and then doing school, and then cooking and cleaning and just go on from there. And I realized that I was just getting tired, burned out. And I realized I didn't find that time for me with God throughout the day. And so if you have to wake up early in the morning just to pray, it is so important to seek him early. He said, if you seek me early, you shall find me. And so it's important to seek him early, get up and pray and read your devotional book before the baby start crying. And then your day won't get started without, you know, the Lord. And this is the devotional book I use. It's called uh, Streams in the Desert by Miss Kalman. Kalman, yes. And I love this book. It is so encouraging. Um, Miss Streams in the Desert. And my mother-in-law had gave this to me when I was going through a very trying time and it just has been a blessing ever since. And so I would encourage you to get this book streams in the desert i'll try to find it and put the link down in the description 
But um, yes, do these things. Um, get up, pray, uh, read your devotional or your Bible, and just talk to the Lord throughout the day. Why are you cooking? Uh, why are you caring about the children? Talk to them about him. And it makes a world of difference. And if you do need to talk about some things that went on throughout the day, find those friends that I said, those spiritual friends, ones that's not going to um, tell you anything that you shouldn't uh, tell you the wrong thing, but that they will try to encourage you and help you uh, in your spiritual journey uh, with the Lord. And so, uh, and also a prayer pot partner that you can confide in and relate to who also has children, who also is a homeschool or a stay-at-home mom, you know, that way you, you all can pray along the same lines. And so those things has helped me with my mom burnout, and I pray that it has helped you. All right, I pray this video was uh, helpful, and please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys. God bless.